2020 and all of us were ready for this horrible year to be it was new year's eve of 2020 and all of us were ready for this horrible year to be over my friend logan was throwing a house party i arrived early to help logan set things up. i secured his spot to sleep in his parents room meaning i could drive to the party and drink without having to worry about driving home his parents obviously weren't home for the night most of our close friends in our friend group came plus a bunch of logan's friends who i didn't know the party was fun at midnight everyone screams happy new year and cheers their drinks after that people slowly started circulating out and the party started to quiet down as people went to either other parties bars or home the later the night got the more it became just the closer friends staying behind until it just turned into a chill drinking session in the living room this went on late into the night it was likely 3 a.m. when the last of everyone who wasn't sleeping at Logan's house was gone. As it quieted down, we started hearing this occasional sound. At first, we didn't know what it was, but it soon started to sound like a creaking sound. It was dismissed as a sound from the fridge or something at first, which I know sounds stupid, but house appliances often make weird noises. It was just Logan, me, and Cody. Cody was falling asleep on the couch Cody. already. It was reaching that time where we were just going to go to sleep. However, right. eventually we got so bothered by the noise that we had to search. We went to the kitchen and it wasn't coming from in there. We realized when we were close to the basement door that it was coming from downstairs. Logan opened the door and we heard this creaking sound. The heck? Somebody trying to sneak up on y'all. Go check what it is. I hey. Said. He kept Who? saying, no way. Exactly. Who's checking on that? Don't go there because something's there, bro. And he called down into the basement. Yo, who's down there? The creaking stopped and we never heard it again. Oh, something was there. Something was down there. Oh, my goodness. I should have threw like a flashlight. After a solid minute of waiting at the top of the stairs, we agreed to go down together. We both grabbed knives, drunkenly thinking that was a good idea. But what in reality, flashlight. we were so drunk we'd probably only hurt ourselves with them. We got to the bottom of the stairs and looked through the entire basement. It's not huge. It just has a couch, TV, a bar, a table in the corner, and various old pieces of junk. It was pretty messy at the time. The first thing we did was search any possible crevice for someone who could be hiding. Then we tried to figure out what could have been making that sound. I noticed a rocking chair, and so I went up to it, sat in it, and then started rocking in it. And it made the exact same creaking sound we had been hearing. What? Logan and I looked Man. at each other. I stood up, and so did every hair on my body. Oh. I don't think we ever ran faster than we did when we ran up those stairs and slammed the door shut. We tried to come up with any logical explanation, but there was none. What? He kept the basement door locked for days until his parents came back. <laughs> there was no living soul down there. What? Something was moving that rocking chair. No! That rocking chair used to belong to his grandma who passed away forever ago. Oh, and it's just no. something his mom held on to for sentimental reasons. I can't say I've ever experienced no. anything resembling the paranormal before this. Nor mm -hmm. since then. It still sends chills down my spine. Hey no please 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 hey that you know they ran they 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 ran so fast up the stairs like i would do the same thing it was nobody down there oh my gosh that has that has got to be very creepy when they realized hold on we don't oh what if the person was hiding so good it was a small basement. You see, I'm glad I don't have a basement either. I don't have a basement, but actually I kind of have like some kind of thing underneath, some space underneath the, the house, but it's not a basement though. But I'm glad I don't have a basement. I'm glad I do not have a basement because creepy stuff always happens in basements and attics. Basements and attics. If you are, if you ever watch the, like a classic horror movie, they always got to go down to a basement or attic. Either of a house or of a building, like bro. I don't, and you know they're gonna find something creepy. Something's gonna pop out. Something was there waiting. Something is there, bro. And this attic had a chair that creaked, and nobody was there. That's that's definitely paranormal activity, right? That is scary. 
Uh, Blue Dude said, I'm glad I don't have a basement. Me too. Me too. Sound like his grandmother's soul on that chair. Hey, somebody was rocking the chair. Somebody was rocking the chair, man. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. 